You took everything from me. We love our food, it's true, but we really love our food once it's gone. On that note, here are the top 15 discontinued junk foods Americans miss the most. Taco Bell Lunchables. Taco Bell Nachos? I finally got it, baby! Tacos are great, always great, unless you end up like this woman and have to buy your date's full order of 100 tacos. What? But seriously, who wouldn't love seeing tacos in their lunch? Taco Bell Lunchables were just that. You could have some of Taco Bell's delicious tastes on the go with a small kit of either tacos or nachos. Kids were more excited to see a Taco Bell Lunchables kit in their lunch than the regular PB&J or tuna fish sandwich their parents would typically pack for them. Bad news, though, for those nostalgic foodies out there looking to relive those recess days, this poppin' lunchtime meal was discontinued in the year 2000. Now that's a lunch bag letdown. Fritos Wild and Mild Ranch. You need that big, bold taste of Fritos. Fritos Wild and Mild Ranch made people truly go wild. Wild with longing. Similar to Cool Ranch Doritos in taste, some internet forums are filled with comments from users who just don't feel satisfied with the Doritos option. One commenter even admitted to scouring the internet for any place in the world that could potentially still catch carry Fritos Wild and Mild Ranch chips. Nothing is impossible! A limited edition run of these bad boys hit shelves in 2012, but alas, back into the discontinued abyss they went soon after. There's a Facebook group with more than 1,300 members calling for the return of Fritos Wild and Mild Ranch. We hear you, and we salute you. Milk and Cereal Bars. That's a bar right there. Bars. Waking up in the morning and starting your day does not always allow for making a three-course meal. Sometimes there just isn't time for any of that. So milk and cereal bars were a great answer to that problem. There is another way to get nutrition at breakfast. Whoa, nice art! These bars used cereals that were popular with kids, such as Honey Nut Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Cocoa Puffs as a base, with a delicious milk-like center to the bar. These sweet breakfast snack slash meal substitute style bars were discontinued for the most part, except it appears as though you can still find the Honey Nut Cheerios flavor bars around. Even though you can find some milk and cereal bars nowadays, it has been said that you may notice a difference in taste between new ones and the original. Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars. Absolutely delicious. I was completely addicted to them. Over 39,000 individuals and counting have signed their names to a Bring Back Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars petition on change.org. And if you've seen a photograph of what these used to look like, we don't blame them. Rich and creamy with graham cracker as a base and cream cheese as the topping, people absolutely loved these snack bars. Not bad, not bad. Their favorite flavor was by far the strawberry cheesecake, though. On the change.org petition, one person commented saying, if Full House can make a comeback, then these should too. Fair point. Another remembers sneaking into the fridge at night to grab one as a child and wants the luxury of being able to do the same as an adult. Another very fair point. The commercial said that these cheesecake bars were a little taste of heaven, and it's clear that tens of thousands of people felt the same way. Ben and Jerry's Oatmeal Cookie Chunk. This stuff is like royalty. This discontinued Ben and Jerry's flavor is so incredibly missed by the public that Ben and Jerry's even questions whether or not it is the company's most missed flavor ever. According to Ben and Jerry's, despite its incredible popularity, the oatmeal cookie chunk flavor had to be discontinued because their cookie supplier stopped making the delicious oatmeal cookie chunks. There's not much room for more. And because Ben and Jerry's take the quality of their products very, very seriously, they decided to retire the beloved flavor instead of offering a subpar product. We understand your thought process, Ben and Jerry's. We don't have to like it, but hey, at least we understand it. Some people really can't get over it, though, like this guy who even went to petition for the return of the beloved flavor in front of the White House lawn. Passion comes in many forms. Hostess Choco Bliss Snack Cakes. Whoa, check that super chocolatey icing. Oh! 
awesome! Everything was bigger in the 80s, and not just the hair. So Hostess Choco Bliss snack cakes fit right in. Big in both size and in its sweet, chocolatey personality, this choco treat was truly considered otherworldly to many. The snack cakes consisted of two oversized devil's food cake sticks with a creamy middle layer in between the two cakes. It was magic. It was delightful. It was bliss. It was discontinued. Sometime after its reign in the 80s, Choco Bliss threw in the towel and retired from the junk food game. To say that we miss the Hostess Choco Bliss snack cake glory days is an understatement. Bring them back, Hostess. Do we need to start a petition? Pop-Tarts Snack Sticks Man, I want some Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are an easy treat that can definitely fill you up in between meals and on the go. So when Pop-Tarts Snack Sticks hit the market in 2002, they intended to make it even simpler to enjoy Pop-Tarts by dividing them up into easy-to-consume sticks. They snap apart so you can share them. It was brilliant. It was genius. It was discontinued in 2003. These portable sticks were meant to be broken apart and consumed when time was tight, but taste was not to be sacrificed. With Pop-Tarts' signature icing drizzled on top, what could be bad? The launch of this snack coincided with the 2002 Top 10 American Idols Live Tour, and then about a year later they were removed from shelves. The Pop-Tarts snack sticks were available in cookies and cream, frosted berry, frosted caramel chocolate, and frosted double chocolate. Come back soon. Doritos guacamole. Doritos, you came through. Doritos plus guacamole. What? What could be bad? Well, nothing, actually, except for some reason these chips just weren't selling. Doritos knows how to make a chip, and guacamole is truly an all-around fan favorite by all accounts. So how Doritos guacamole chips were not a huge bestseller, we can't be certain. All we know is that they weren't, and that's why they're no longer here. I see where they're going. Stepping onto the scene in 2003, Doritos guacamole made their exit from that same scene when they were discontinued in 2006. Multiple petitions have been launched trying to solicit Frito-Lay to bring back the Doritos guac fun, but so far to no avail. The suspicion is that perhaps they just weren't spicy or extreme enough for the Gen Z consumers who look for those qualities in a chip. We're still of the belief that this one was genius, and we're sticking to it. Skippy Squeeze Sticks Go to your Skippy place this next one is so retro looking, we feel as though the mascot could practically be saying, totally tubular. Skippy Squeeze Sticks was a peanut butter snack in portable tubes to be enjoyed when you were on the run. On the box, it says, squeeze the fun, and by fun, they mean peanut butter. You could squeeze the peanut butter snack onto vegetables, crackers, whatever you'd like. And as the box also says, you can enjoy anywhere, anywhere. Well, that was a relief because we normally couldn't enjoy enjoy peanut butter on the go in this way before Skippy Squeeze Sticks. The snack was offered in either plain or chocolate peanut butter and would often make a mess if you weren't careful while eating. The motto may have been squeeze on, but you can no longer squeeze on because these are discontinued. However, you can listen to a rap from a commercial promoting the product in 2003. The Skippy is the Skippy is Queen. Queen malicious peanut butter that you even know of. It may not make up for the lack of peanut buttery goodness on the go, but it can help ease the pain by entering entertaining you for a brief moment. Hershey's Swoops. Hey, that's pretty good. It's chocolate. No, it's a chip. It's Hershey's Swoops. Okay, so it's not so much a chip as much as it just looks like a chip. But hey, if anyone deserves a Superman-style intro, it's Hershey's Swoops. Resembling a chocolate chip, as in a chip that's chocolate, not a tiny chocolate chip for baking, Swoops were a hit with the kids and any chocolate lover out there, really. Hershey's Swoops were available in flavors like Reese's, York, and Almond Joy and looked like the perfect afternoon treat for the snacker with a sweet tooth. Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Yes! Launched in 2003 and removed from the shelves three years later, there were a few different criticisms of swoops pointing as to why they were potentially discontinued. Firstly, some questioned whether the name was strong enough for marketing purposes. Another thing was that there were only six swoops per container, leaving some consumers unsatisfied. While we may not know what this junk food's kryptonite truly was in the end, we do know that we miss it so. Cheetos Crunchy Salsa Con Queso. This is what fun is about, baby. Cheetos are where it's at. They're lit. We know this. Cheetos are awesome, full stop. But Cheetos Crunchy Salsa Con Queso were a muy bueno. So why are they out of production? Despite making a return during the summer of 2020, these chips are now gone, gone, gone. These discontinued chips were said to have a nice cheesy flavor, a nice spicy tingly effect, and just an overall abundant burst of taste. I think you're gonna like these. We know that Chester Cheetah approves, and by the sounds of it, the people did too. Fans of the crunchy salsa con queso Cheetos were apparently heartbroken when these bad boys were removed from the shelves. And, well, hearts have been broken over less. Planters PB Crisps. One of my favorite snacks from the 90s. Now, people may miss the majority of the items on this list, but when it comes to Planters PB Crisps, they are perhaps missed the most. Case in point, there is a website solely dedicated to bringing Planters PB Crisps back. Introduced in 1992, this snack was available in three varieties, including chocolate crisps, PB&J crisps, and PB crisps. With a graham cookie outside and peanut butter cream inside, this snack was widely loved, even if it eventually was phased out of production. Done. While we may not know exactly when these crisps were discontinued, we know that the fight rages on to bring them back ASAP. Planters claims that the crisps are no longer being made because there is not enough consumer demand for the product. Well, times have changed, so bring back Planters PB Crisps. Hostess Chocodiles. Hey, Chocodile, watch where you're going. If you're not aware of what Hostess Chocodiles were, allow us to enlighten you. Picture a Twinkie. Now, cover that Twinkie in chocolate. You see where we're going with this? Well, we just went there. Hostess Chocodile Twinkies were chocolate-covered sponge cakes filled with cream that appeared to have been the perfect junk food and midday snack to satisfy those taste buds craving chocolate or sweets. You know I love this creamy filling. Hostess Chocodiles were discontinued in 1999 and then revived in 2014 in fun-sized form, only to be reintroduced in full-sized form as fudge-covered Twinkies. So keep an eye out for the name change and let us know in the comments if there's a change in taste, too. Oreo Sippers I like cookies. Oreo sippers were a genius creation, being part cookie and part straw. These rolled wafer cookies were unfortunately discontinued in 2012, stealing all of our delicious joy, much like the Grinch would. Except in this case, Christmas wasn't stolen, but deliciousness was. We joke only to hide our inner frustration about the fact that Oreo sippers are no longer on the market. Damn! Like with many of the items on this list, you never know if these treats are going to one day make a comeback. But for now, we know that they're gone. And while we mourn these wafer cookies, we can dream of a day when they return to shelves and into our tummies. Come on, Nabisco, help some snackers out. Keebler Munchums. True artists are never appreciated in their time. Be prepared to get super excited and then super let down in three. Three, two, one! Keebler Munchums had the slogan, Crackers That Crunch Like Chips. These cracker slash chip creations were available in ranch, onion, and cheddar flavors to appeal to the savory snacking folks out there. Discontinued in the early 2000s, it has been said on Reddit that cheese it grooves make for a good substitute, but we can't be certain. Nothing is ever as good as the original, but of course, since the original isn't available anymore, we are open to trying the grooves in its place. With a tagline like crackers that crunch like chips, we would imagine that this snack was particularly addictive. Oh, Keebler, how excited.
exciting. The munching may have stopped in the early aughts, but we continue to miss Keebler munchums until this day. Got a favorite you miss? Let us know. And tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.